Men in Black sounds like a Netflix documentary in a few years. Which one do you think that's going to be about? <laughs> that'll men be in the Blacked? Yeah, it'll be the men who participated in the Blacked porn series, and uh, maybe they'll talk about like the low wages and the mistreatment in the porn industry and the fetishization. I thought it was going to be themselves. I thought it was. I thought it was going to be about how Will Smith has gay sex and how everybody talks about it for some reason. Mm. If Will wants to have gay sex, let him have gay sex, dude. Yeah, is that still like a big deal that he might, uh, you know, kiss thine men? I guess I don't know. I think it's because the his 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 lover, his wife, his muse is so adamant about loving other people besides him that it's become right. a big deal. Yeah, yeah, Jada. Oh man, <laughs> oh man. Can you imagine the story though over anybody else? Like any other celebrity. Imagine this with Kevin James. Yeah, I can't picture it. No. No, not at all. Like anybody would give a fuck about what Kevin James has got going on. You know what I mean? I'd be... No, come on, dude. Come on, there are people that would care. Yeah. My mom loved Here Comes the Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch She's Kevin... avid, avid Kevin James fan. <laughs> Bingo. My name is Stretch. This is the last time you mess with Stretch. And fade. Did you ever watch Kevin James' Nazi movie? Yeah. Man. Oh, yeah, where it's like the little girl, whatever, and he's like. He's supposed to be like it's like a dramatic like he's a badass like villain role. Yeah, I never I never watched it. I just it's really bad. <laughs> it's extremely mid. I I tried watching it the other day. <laughs> just picturing Kevin in the with his agent being like, you know, I really want to challenge myself. <laughs> They're like, okay, what about we That's put a, a good big- way to? I think that movie came out around the same time as Green Room. Oh, did it? Yeah, oh, Patrick yeah, wasn't, Stewart uh, plays the fucking yeah. Patrick Stewart plays a neo Nazi, yeah, little skinhead. That yeah, worked out really well. What's his What's his Star Trek name? Picard. Picard, yeah, yeah. Picard, um, Picard goes bad. Yeah, did Picard you like does. Green Room when you watched? I it? I loved it. I loved it. It's pretty violent. Loved it. It is. It's a. It's. It is not anything that you would expect. No. Um, yeah, you, you fucking just comes by and slaps you in the face. It's. It's pretty. Pretty brutal. And yeah. they have that Swedish guy that got ran over by his jeep. Unfortunately, I liked him a lot too. Oh he, uh, right, yep. and uh, he's a great actor. He was also in, hey, coincidentally, he was in Star Trek too. He was in the reboot of the Star Trek. Oh, huh? You have a, what is this? A Star Trek cast? What is this? A that's, Star what, that's what Trek people are probably thinking. What is this? A Star Trek thinking. fan podcast? Yeah, exactly. Now this is a Star Trek podcast. Now I don't know anything about Star Trek. I watched. Yo, her name is um, Emotion Poots. Mojin poots. Who pooted is one of my favorite phrases. She was from Hammersmith, London. Yeah. <laughs> poots. <laughs> oh my gosh, she was born in 1989. Dude, she's so old. Yeah, she's basically dead. Born in 1989, basically dead. You were what year were you born, Noel? Um, 93, just like this jacket says. Not true. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why the hell you bought that. I didn't buy it. It was gifted to me. I don't know why that you took that gift and you said, I'm going to wear this. I don't know who you think you owe. I don't owe anyone. You know How what? did your wife even let you? I feel like this is, a, this is a jacket that Alina would immediately be like, you're not wearing that. Yeah, definitely. She's not home today. So that's why I got to wear it. <laughs> this is like me pulling out, like, I don't know, like my, uh, like a, the t-shirt with tigers on it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, mommy's yeah. not here to tell me no. You know, something like that. Yeah. Dad's day off. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I like it, man. If it, it it's nice, it's cozy. All right. Suck me. I didn't get to play sports in high school. I didn't get to live out the dream of walking around in a letterman. So I do it now as a grown man. I do it now as a grown five eight man. I walk around in a letterman and I bully children. Did you bully some kids on your way here? Yep. I stopped to get gas and this kid was like, um, nice jacket, mister. And I was like, shut up. Go play flag football. What kind of what you like? What year would you say is your bullying from? Um, I think I'm I'm like uh, 
late nineties, early two thousands villain. Oh, uh, so you could have dropped you could have dropped some I could have said some, yeah, yeah, on him. Yeah, could have said some mean, mean mean stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Said, you could have said some stuff that changed the course of history as we know it. Yeah. Yeah, I, l- I looked at the kid, and I was like, they put me on the team because I'm one of the good ones. And then I walked off with my football team. Wow. <laughs> wearing a Letterman jacket is like wearing an X on your back. What <laughs> popped up on the... What does that even mean? Uh, I don't know. It's from BuzzFeed. It was, is, I, is BuzzFeed even... I didn't know BuzzFeed was still around. No, they're gone. Are they gone? Yeah, they're, they're gone. Like, when did that gone. happen? Oh, so this is universal bully material? Yeah, I think that's probably like a thing, right? People who are Letterman jackets, you probably associate that they're like dickheads. Yeah. I just always thought they were fucking cool, the coolest guys in school, so that's why I bought one. I mean, who was, was the coolest who was the uh, coolest guy in your school? That's why I was gifted one. <laughs> um, who was the coolest guy in my school? I don't know. I I guess that'd be subjective. There were a couple dudes that were liked by a lot of people, but I actually don't feel that there was one universal person that was like, everyone thinks this guy's cool. I think everyone was like, Yeah, no, that never happens. Yeah. That never happens. No. There's people that are extremely liked by all, but there's never like, you know, in movies where it's like, that's whatever, so and so. Yeah. That's, you know, Tyler Scott. Oh, he's a dreamboat, and his dad's rich. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that happens in schools with like student bodies of like forty, maybe. Yeah, in my school there was uh, the I think this is my junior year of high school. Mm-hmm. I had this buddy named Kevin, and he uh, he was a little rap scallion, you know, a little emo boy. Mm. And the team just lost the division like round to go to the state championship. So everybody in school was really sad. Right. And this big football kid came in, a senior, um, came in wearing his letterman, you know. Kind of like me. Yeah, exactly like you. Except he was like six four, maybe. And uh almost as tall as me. Yeah, continue. Kevin stands up and he says, We're going to state. Oh. Is when he yells at him. Oh. And like death started flying and you know all this kind of stuff and it was it was a, one of the funniest moments of my life i still try to i, I still th- i think about that a lot and then everyone's just like dude you know all the football players are talking about you right it's like who gives a fuck yeah you lost a stupid fucking football game yeah did um did kevin did kevin get beat or did he escape no i really didn't mean anybody who like like in terms of i'm not a big fight guy you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I never, I, I never understand why he gets to that place. When people are like, oh, I beat the shit out of him, or yeah. a kid got beat up or whatever. I'm always just like, did it really have to go? Do we, do we have to go there? Yeah. For some people, you yes. Know? If anything, it's just sad. It's always sad. Fighting? Yeah. Unless it's like the two, in my case, if it was like, there was like a, there was like this like scene kid <laughs> who was like, he was like a scene kid with like a major lisp. And then there was like this white trash kid who was like a country boy who, uh, he had like a bone marrow disorder. And I remember one time that they, they got in a, a tussle outside of this anatomy class and it was a lot of fun yeah. and kind of ironic, I guess. Yeah. I was going to say bone marrow deficiency, scrapping outside of the anatomy class. They were, th- they were tussling. It kind of just looked like two bundles of paper, just kind of like bust up against each other. Now, because he had bone marrow, do you think he was kind of like, I don't know. Do you think he packed less of a punch? Yeah. 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 Definitely. They were both, I think collectively, they both weighed probably 96 pounds together. Huh. Damn. Tiny. <laughs> so, so just, <laughs> I'm trying to imagine like what that would sound like. <laughs> A lot of wheezing. <gasps> yeah. Get the fuck off me. Yeah. I was you try- got me. That's what it was. <laughs> okay. I kicked this fucking ass. <laughs> just like that. Yeah, it was kind of like that. It was nice. I remember when my, my buddy's sister was dating that guy, and we just, it was always just like the funniest thing. We'd always just be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. So I'm still just He's to- hot. <laughs> you're like, really? <laughs> the scene kid? The scene kid was hot? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't, yeah. P- people like that look, that sort of like, oh, I'm man. about to die look. Oh, man. that it 20, I mean, I don't know how it is now, but 2010s, 2010s, if there was a malnourished like, it's not even skinny. It's like skinny fat. 
like a like a typical vegan body kind yeah. of thing. If yeah. somebody had like that that like frail frame mm-hmm. with like a kind of malnourished boy, and God forbid their hair was straightened and they wore like a fucking a day to remember t shirt with skinny jeans with like a fucking DC shoe belt buckle like loose like tied up, like you could even, some fucking Osiris shoes. Yep. Holy moly! <laughs> yeah. Holy moly! Midwest twenty, Midwest twenty out of ten. Um, you're yeah, L.A. too. You're pulling that. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Mando, from the makers of Lumi deodorant. You've heard it before. New year, new me. But how about New Year, no stink? <laughs> Whether your New Year's resolution is hitting the gym, better hygiene, or simply vowing to keep things cool and fresh below the belt. Mando whole body deodorant got your back and your front. (laughs) Suffer from stinky feet, pits, or packages? Mando is doctor developed and clinically proven to block odor all day and control it for up to 72 hours. You deserve to make 2024 the year of revolutionary, groundbreaking, acidified formula that works on your pits, package, feet, and beyond to stop odor before it starts. Say goodbye to last year's stink and upgrade to a whole new level of personal care with Mando Whole Body Deodorant. Your pits and balls deserve the best for 2024. Plus, new customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code and link. Use code STRETCH at shopmando.com. What I like personally about Mando is the deodorant wipes are easy to use and they don't leave my armpits smelling like macaroni and cheese. How did you think Mando was going to work and what's your opinion of the products now that you've used them? It's really good. Aren't you thankful that you're not going to start this year st- a stinky little boy? With Mando, Mando has really shown me that today, this New Year starting off is a smell good season and not a stinky season with these easy to use, convenient, and fairly priced products. That's right. Mando is a whole body deodorant and seriously safe to use anywhere on your body, created by a doctor who saw firsthand how normal BO was being misdiagnosed and mistreated. Mando whole body deodorant is powerful enough for the toughest body odor, but gentle enough to use everywhere because Mando is aluminum free, baking soda free, cruelty free, dye free, and it's vegan. Mando is clinically proven to control odor better than a shower with soap alone. 12 hours after a shower, the average man's grundle odor level was a 5 out of 10. With Mando, the average grundle odor level is 0 out of 10. Mando starter pack is perfect for new customers, and it comes with a solid stick deodorant, creep tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code STRETCH. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack. Use code STRETCH at shopmando.com. S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O dot com. It's almost guaranteed that once you get a whiff of your new sack, You'll never go back. You're pulling in that. Was look. that? I mean, you said that you're. You remember? You, I remember you saying that you said your school was a lot like uh, Euphoria. How people dressed and stuff like that. People were kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Art was never like that. My school was never like that. So then I think the scene kids stood out so much because that was eccentric. In the grand. I see. Things. Yeah. No. You know what I mean? We had a lot. Man, we had all kinds of shit at our school. We had Mormons. We had we had juggalos. We had a clique of juggalos. And they came to school in face paint often. Um, That'd be distracting as a teacher. Yeah, they'd make. I put. Ta- I put in a request to be like, no more face paint. They would make them take it off, and then the the dudes would act like they were getting oppressed. It was really funny. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in yeah. school? Yeah, this is bullshit, dog. They made me take off my face paint, dog. Ooh, woo. Yeah, woo woo. In the bathroom, cry in the bathroom, wash off that face paint. Skin's kind of stained from the white and black of the face paint. They're like, "Fuck, woo, woo, <laughs> woo, woo. fucking goddamn!" It'd also be really funny just sitting in a class with these dudes because you just be doing work or looking at the board, and then <laughs> just look over, and this, these fuckers are just like, <laughs> <laughs> like some teacher just wouldn't care because I think they, I think they did it so much. The teachers just got over telling them to not do it. So they just be in class full. And they, they was not good. They just put black circles around their eyes and just all white. The rest of it, it looked hilarious. Yeah, it looked like a fucking 
look like an offbeat, like uh, uh, out of season Halloween outfit for like a skeleton face paint or something. Oh yeah, man. You know what bummed me out the most about being in a like a high school class with a juggalo? Uh, Especially if I sat next to one. That they're smarter than you? No, no, no. Well, no, no, no. Because I would say, well, probably. And that's probably <laughs> a given. But I just mean that you want the person. I always wanted to sit next to like the the nice girl who was smart that maybe farts that no one liked. Ah, right? uh, okay. Because you better believe that that's going to be good cheating. Yeah, right yeah. There. Yeah. You catch a side glance. Uh-oh. Yeah. And you can kind of like guilt trip him. Yeah. Hey, can I see? stuff right I don't really see it. and they're like ah. and i'm like you're fart i don't care that you fart and they're like okay and they like move the paper over yeah juggler's not even fucking filling out the paper no nah. right he's sitting there to himself the whole time talking about the great malenko or whatever the fuck that thing was called <laughs> he's drawing the hatchet man 70 times on his <laughs> math homework yep. i'm like looking around like i'm fucked i mean i'm i have no outs yeah you know what i mean that'd be brutal i i was the i was the um Kind of smart kid farting. That was me. So I was on defense for guys like you. Oh, man. You didn't help anybody out? Hell no. But you're like your God-given right, dude. No. You're, you're, you're somebody who can actually digest this information. It, it's, it's almost one of these things where it's like, if the person is nice to you, you got to reciprocate and be like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. No. Like right? that. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't, just wasn't giving it up. You remind me of this one girl, this, this girl named Melissa in my school. She was this horse girl, mm -hmm. and she was fucking disgusting. She would uh, at lunch. She would take uh, like Lay's regular potato chips and dip them in ketchup. Dip in ketchup, yeah, that's exactly what I would do. Continue. Okay, definitely. And she, uh, <laughs> she would refuse anybody. Like she would, she would do her, she would do her tests and stuff and her homework, and she would make a barrier around herself. And she got to a point to where her hands were locked up, and she would like write like this. So she never had to like be up, you know, and be like this. She yeah. would be like down and writing like that. I do the same thing with a hood. I created like a little fucking iron dome over that. Yeah. Everyone everyone thought it was sad. I was like, no, I'm, I'm getting you probably, Well, you are fucking sad. Huh? If you're doing that, that's unbelievably sad. No, everyone thought I just had my Look head down. Guy, sleeping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's what you thought. Everyone just thinks I'm sleeping. Now they're like, look at Noel, the fucking loser, <laughs> making that stupid ass dome. Nah, they were like fucking looking at Noel, that hot ass nerd. Oh, my God. What I would give for him to pop out from that hood and just reveal Especially himself. Especially by this time, you were like what five foot two, dude. I was five one. Walk around like a cabbage patch doll. Five <laughs> one, always <laughs> looking like a munchkin with rosy cheeks. They're like fucking hell. Something about that little uh, lollipop guild looking boy that's so attractive. Yeah, exactly. You're walking around the hallway. People are thinking they're playing Candyland and yeah. shit. <laughs> you're walking to biology. You think you're going through the candy cane forest? Yeah. They're the like, uh, <laughs> they're like, I don't know the, what it is uh, about him. I want him. The the horse girl though I remember ever since then ever ever since then when I that was like eighth grade or like nine, like high school or something I can't remember but uh, I was always just like women who are really into horses are fucking freaks like horse girls mm. and then my wife is now she sabotaged me and she became a horse girl <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say through. dude do you feel Our like the ultimate razzle bullshit. dazzle yeah. <laughs> I feel, I feel, I feel totally and absolutely betrayed. Every time you go out for dinner, Allison's doing the same shit. She won't tell you what she's ordering for dinner. She just covers up her menu. And you're like, hey, are you thinking about this? She's like, <laughs> oh, no. I thought you were going to go the angle where she has like a nice glass of like the driest red wine. And she's just like, you know, oh, this tastes good. Every person who likes dry red wine, wine needs to jump off a fucking bridge. Okay. I like, I like liquefied sandpaper. Can I have that? Anyways, the... She's sitting there wearing like a nice place. I order a nice filet mignon, medium rare, of course, a nice baked potato. She says, "I'll have I'll have the classic." And they just bring they bring her a bowl of Lay's potato chips and a side dish of ketchup. Ah, yeah. and she just starts dipping it. Nah, 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 nah. That is you know we have like a nice. Well, you wouldn't know this, but for those bigger guys, you're wearing a shirt that's maybe a little too tight. That's a button up, and then you start getting those little seams where it's like you can see into the shirt. Kind of looks like that. You can see your belly. Hey, listen, you you excluded me from this, but I know all about that. All right, I'm looking right into that every time we hang out. All right, at my strong stature of five three, I look right into just above your belly button. That's true. You see all the times that you've seen me with a button up on. Yeah. Every time we ever meet, I'm in a full suit. Yeah. Noel, so nice to meet you again. How you doing, buddy? It's been too long. Yeah, Hunter takes casual <laughs> hangouts very seriously. He doesn't show up in anything less than a tuxedo. <laughs> yeah, full tuxedo. Full tuxedo, and then, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Holy, look at that. What do they call that? Button down shirt gaping? Shirt gaping. I like that. It's the same reason there, dude. It's because my, my chest is so big because I'm yep. so... I'm so jacked. Yeah. That my shirt gapes. Look at this guy. If I ever saw this fucking guy in public, I'd be like, well, get the, get over yourself. <laughs> this guy's like, yeah, so I'm actually the second most, we, we, I actually work for the second most profitable enterprise in Missouri. Um, it's kind of a huge deal. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm more curious, like when they, because you know, when they make these ads, it's targeted at someone. Who is the demographic that they're thinking of when they're ta- when they target this? Is it, like I always wonder: is it what's in right. the ad, or is it someone who would never be anything close to this and sees them? Unironically, I unironically could see Ryan looking at these and saying like that he would buy this because of it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? I could see Ryan wearing all of this stuff. Yeah. Why not? These are crazy shirts, man. Big. Dude, why are they all so jacked? Looking like this is hilarious. What a fucking obnoxious, like, yeah, I'm big and I want my clothes to suffocate me. Just, dude, just wear a scuba outfit at this point. Like, just how about you go go to Old Navy and get just a nice shirt, <laughs> a, like a nice, comfortable shirt. I hate that I just see like his pec definition and everything. Yeah, so actually, this is a denim yeah, look at those tapered lads. fit look shirt. Those lads, gang. <laughs> my my back is fucking huge. I uh, I did lat pull downs for four and a half hours this morning. Lads, um, dude. I'm looking yoked as fuck. Yo, I like how this is tapered, so you can see his ass too. Kind of looks like every youth pastor outfit I've ever seen. Mm. Yo, today, guys, we're gonna be talking about Leviticus. Youth pastors are this jacked? I think so. Because I think they're trying to get they're trying to go to the church and they're trying to get some pussy is what I think. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, I heard that you and Terry broke up. Let me know if you want to go to dinner sometime and I can console you with the Lord. Man, this guy looks like processed meat with just how skin tight this stuff is. It looks uncomfortable. Yeah. If you sat down, you would be ga- your shirt gaping. Yeah. There's no way. I mean, it is pressed as close as to his like to his skin as possible. You'd be everything. I will say he's gaping. got he's got a big old fucking hog on him there too. Look at that. They didn't even try to blur it out. He's got a big fucking little sausage dent there. No, right? that's what that. So th- this is for Ryan. When Ryan looks at it, he's like, "Yeah, that's me." My dick is that big in those pants. Uh, they gotta sell pants, bro. <laughs> this side profile, that other guy is killing me. Like that dude. I, I hate. I just. I. I hate the back shot. <laughs> the lats. Now shot wing is out so your lats, good, bro. Now wing out your lats. Okay, perfect. Dude, they don't even have to ask him. He's built like that. They're just like, turn around. And he's like, yeah, okay. can you just turn around real quick? <laughs> yeah. I always hate when companies like this put their insignia on the shirt. Why? I mean, Isn't that the I, point of branding? With, with button ups with button ups and stuff, I'm always just like, I wish that it was just plain. Give it to me fucking plain. Yeah. <laughs> no, bro. These guys want to let the world know that they're rocking tapered. You know how many times I've seen like a nice sweatshirt? I'm like, oh, this is nice. It feels comfortable. And then they have like Hurley. Yeah. Like on the, like the, like Billabong Hurley or whatever yeah. the fucking kind of pack sun brand is. You're like, well, I feel like a fucking douchebag. Yeah. Yo. I'm not going to walk around with that. Like, yeah, I have a Billabong shirt. It just feels really good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck that. I just wish it was blank. Dude. <laughs> those are some <laughs> fucking insane hips. God. Damn, dude, those are some heel. Those are some Hinden- Those are some serious Hindenburgs tucked in those fucking tucked in those tapered fit jeans. Holy moly! Bro. His ass is so tiny compared to how fucking monstrous his yeah. thighs are. Yo, can I put my billfold in my back wallet? Yeah. Oh, it got tucked underneath my tiny ass. Okay, never mind. Dude, his back blends into his ass. It's just straight. It's like just back to hole. I kind of like that. There's no cheek. It's just a g- giant gaping hole so you can stand and just like. Yeah, shit yeah, 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 yeah. And he doesn't have to wipe because there's no cheek to deal with. Yeah. Just straight duke. Bro, those other jeans are hilarious. I've like. Like. People's moms have these same jeans. I have definitely called a girl attractive before for these thighs and jeans. <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn, she's got something going on in there. <laughs> hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor today's episode, Heineken Zero Zero. <laughs> Heineken Zero Zero is an alcohol-free option to the original Heineken you love. I know I do. Yep. It has 100% taste, but 0.0% alcohol. That means it's perfect for all the times where you would like a beer, but you cannot have alcohol. You know those times where maybe you want to have a little sip, but you can't, you know, afternoon lunch at work, or you know when you get done working out and you're like, man, you know what would really top off that workout? A sudsy one. Well, a nice beer. Look no further than Heineken Zero Zero. Heineken Zero Zero, 100% taste, 0.0% alcohol, only 69 calories. Now you can. Click the link in the description to buy now. Hey. But you have to be 21 to purchase. Sorry, youngy people. Please enjoy Heineken responsibly. Enough about these jeans, dude. You're sick. What's your plans for this year? This is, is this our first episode back? This is our first episode back, dude. Welcome. Wow. So it's been, this is our first episode back from the break. It was a nice break. Wait, is it not? I thought it was going to be longer. We had one? But. Oh, right, right, right. We did have one episode. We're, we have dementia. You were sick. Now I'm sick. But I'm here. I'm not as sick as you were. Feel like shit, but yeah, we're back. Plans for this year. I started writing my feature script. I started. I'm I'm four pages in. Give me the um the pitch, a two sentence pitch of what this movie is. Um, heavily inspired film based on my comedy special, sad kid story turned funny. <laughs> <laughs> how do i give you my money now yeah <laughs> uh zell you can just sell me five million dollars and i'll go make yeah movie. that was the convenient thing about my bank is that i'm able to zell yeah <laughs> okay that's fun nice little movie made out of your your special your past you made you did a series of little vignettes and shorts that were fun to promote your yeah your stand-up special i thought that we'll Worked very good. Thanks, dude. When we made those, I like uh, I got a lot of inspiration and thought, oh, I think this could this could work in a ninety minute um, or or like a feature format. I'm not gonna say ninety minutes, but so I have like the outline, I have the general path of the story. I started writing, and my goal for the next month and a half is I just want to write out like functionally what happens in the story, like what do the characters do. And then, um, then go back and comb through it and start to really add color. Is this you? Is this you fixating on one period of time in your life, or is it going to be a spectrum? No, it'll be it'll be one period. And I think my goal with the film is like, I kind of want it to be kind of like a fun catharsis for people who you know were born in eighty uh, seventy seven like me. And um, eighty what? <laughs> uh, eighty. Were you born eighty nine? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. Um, but I think I think in general the what I have mapped out would be fun and entertaining, um, in a feature format. So I've started that. I am working on episode three of Hot Laps. Um, I'm really excited because for episode three. I really want to go fucking balls to the wall. I have so much inspiration on how to make it really exciting. And so we're working on the next guest. And uh, All right, drop it on him. Who is it? Oh, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. We actually don't. We we have some uh, potentials, but... Yeah, I didn't think that it was going to be you. Soft. inviting. <clears throat> yeah, no, we, we just don't know yet. I mean, <sighs> wide open slate could have anyone, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I will say... The Daniel Ricardo episode was a lot of fun. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, he's not, charming as shit, isn't he? Yeah, not as mobile as I want it to be, but um, people people wanted to see us go more flat out. I'll have to say that um, the Nashville bars they get started at motherfucking eight thirty. That was crazy. Broadway, it like on on time. Every single bar flew their doors open, and everyone there that's trying to get. A country record deal was singing their ass off right at eight thirty in the morning, mm. and then um, there were PA systems rigged all up and down the track. So that was the only part of the track where we could actually hear him talk and where the footage was usable. 
Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. And the speed of the thing was actually uh, making him a little clammed up. <laughs> I mean, the f- fucking thing, get up and go. Yeah. People, I mean, haven't seen it yet. I mean, it is, it is a literally super fast, like what, six Tesla batteries or whatever the fuck is <laughs> in it. Yeah. Thing. Conan O'Brien's blood. We got Jay Leno's sweat. We went to mm. all Hollywood elite talk show hosts. We stole a piece of their DNA, concocted something nice. You know, little little oil uh, to to run through the through the machine. But yeah, so yeah, those are my goal is to um, see if I can write this, get a draft one of this feature in the next couple months, and then um, yeah, kind of hammer down on hot laps. And then uh, I think I came up with a fun way to continue making YouTube videos in a way that I feel good about. So. Yeah, and then I'll I'll keep working on this. So new YouTube set. is still a focus for the horizon. Yeah, yeah, it's not totally gone away. I just don't think I can be doing like weekly uploads. But my goal is like one episode of Hot Laps and then one video on my YouTube channel. Yeah, what what are your goals, bro? Um, I'm trying to do uh like Pee Wee's Playhouse kind of like weird Saturday morning cartoon vibe on my second channel, Papa Meat, Let's which is go. essentially right now we just talk about smut, but we got a lot of cool stuff playing there. I'm just trying to become a millionaire. Um get as much money as I possibly can. Yeah. Uh, of course. But no, I mean I, I we are trying to build up a thing to where we can uh get enough revenue to where we can kind of just do bigger and el- more elaborate projects that we don't really give a fuck if it's, you know, um going to really cater to the algorithm as much and we're just going to like put it out there especially by that too i mean like we don't care if it's going to get demonetized we just want to make it and like put it out there we have a lot of our videos get demonetized on papa meat um but i think we've had we're having a really good time with it so um i guess i can say this now i guess it's not too much of a crazy thing right now i'm making the demo to my horror game making a horror game let's go um and I'm pretty sure once that demo is done, we're probably going to be doing a Kickstarter for that. Um, but it will be like a totally free playable demo thing. I'm not going to elaborate on what it is exactly, but it is a horror demo thing. And we're hoping to have something within the next three to four months that you'll be able to play and stuff like that. Like probably like 40 minutes to an hour long demo. That's exciting. Or whatever. You know, should be cool. And then, yeah, in terms of like me, Ken and stuff, we got, a, I got, I got some, uh, some fun horror ideas planned and stuff, but I mean, I don't know. All in all, just trying to be creative and figure out how the fuck do we, um, how do we keep being profitable? How do we keep, uh, uh, you know, evolving? I think, you know, ever since I dropped that goodbye for now video, which the video says goodbye for now, does it say goodbye forever? You know, I like this video. I watched it's insane. It's insane how people, don't watch the video and they just make their own interpretation of what it's going to be about um, by not watching it. Um, and then coincidentally, Matt Pat had his video come out and I was like, he put me in it. So now everyone's just like every, all the YouTubers are leaving and stuff. And I, yeah. I that's not the case. I have no interest in leaving. Um, I really have no interest in leaving YouTube whatsoever. I just don't want to keep making Stuff that I'm just not super stoked about and that I think also I think that it's it's changing at a correct time when you're kind of like I'm not as popular as I used to be, but I'm not like totally like out of that kind of light. Um, So I think that that change needs to happen now versus later before people are just like, God, he's been doing the same kind of stuff for 10 years or whatever. So just trying to take time to see exactly what the fuck do we want to do with um, the channel and stuff. but. You know, what's crazy is the the years go faster, man. Yep, they do. The years go faster. The older you get, the more uh, the more time flies. So, yep, it's just trying to really figure out what the fuck do you want to do that makes sense with a level of respect with yourself and your audience that yep. can hopefully make you some money and you know it brings a lot of joy to people. So, just trying to navigate that down and try to do a bunch of stuff. I think I'm going to try to film some little horror vignettes too. I got my first pack, four pack of cinematic lenses. So we're going to be trying to shoot some stuff too. But um, 
I don't know. Really, I mean, like we're just pushing. We're we're pushing hard, man, to be as creative as we possibly can. Right now, too, I guess that's the name of the game is the YouTube landscape. You can't trust anybody. Everybody's a fucking snake in the in the, in the tall grass. Yeah, you know, I trust Noel. I will say I do trust Noel. Thanks. There's a handful of people that I do trust, and Noel is one of them. Thanks, man. And uh, you have to compare yourself to other channels, and you know, ask how are you, how are you comparing to them, and that kind of thing. So I just want to decimate my competition. <laughs> I want to leave people in my in my dust. <laughs> I want to be the undisputed king of cringe. I want to be. The fucking the bees needs, dude. <laughs> that's what I want to be. I think it'll be. That's the my plan. Of cringe, dude. I don't want to. You know, I'm not trying to stop anybody. I just want to. Um, I want to push far. Is the big thing. That's. Exciting. I'm tired of settling, Noel. Yeah. I'm tired of settling. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Right. It's fun. People can be in their routes where they're having fun making stuff, whatever. But I'm talking about literal evolution. I'm talking about cells manipulating, dividing, yeah, growing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you. Basically- We're doing this little thing. Boom, it gets better. Yeah, right. No longer are we going to be confined to a desk. YouTubers have been confined to a desk because of the psychology, and that's one thing people don't realize. Right, Phil DeFranco. Everybody who sits behind these desks and they're just like, "I'm a regular guy," when they're living in these fucking multi-million. Yeah, they're not regular like guys. That. The mold is being broken. Yeah, bring entertainment back to the people. Hunter Hancock. 2024, I'm coming for you. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it here first, folks. I, just when you thought that you had a, just when you thought that shit was dying down, I came back and I revitalized it. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to come back strong with subjects about people who microwave and eat their diapers. Yep. What else you got, man? Tell them, tell the people. With, you know, I bought four hundred dollars worth of TV dinners. <laughs> yeah, let's talk night. about that. I saw that and shit. I, when are you doing I, uh, that? And I legitimately thought I was going to have a heart attack. That is the groundbreaking stuff you can expect moving forward. And you know what I did? I I took like one bite of each of those. I felt horrible. Yeah, like I just spent four hundred dollars. I'm wasting all these food. And I want you. Know, can I? And if I want to, hey, move the fuck over, Mister Beast. I donated a thousand dollars to my local community food shelter. Ah. Let's see what you got here, bro. You had a lot going on. Can we zoom in on this? Was any of this good? How was the hungry man? Was it ass? The if I had to recommend anything, it would be uh all of the Gordon Ramsay ones were unironically fucking amazing. Wow. Okay. Like unironically really good. And I was it like the Gordon Ramsay one is at the high end of how much those things cost. Like the Gordon Ramsay one and all the celebrity chef ones are usually around six bucks. Yeah. But if you figure that if you figure that it's like if you're going to do something where it's like you had one meal a day for five days for your work week, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's 30 bucks for yeah. a week of food, yeah. right? Versus like, I mean, when I order a sub from Subway from DoorDash, it's like 28 bucks just with like the delivery fee and everything else. Yep. So I could see how it makes sense to some people. Some of it's heinous. Like Salis- the Salisbury steak section and the meatloaf section was brutal. <laughs> like not fun at all. <laughs> Really, really hard to get through that one. Same with like, yeah, I don't know. I will say kids cuisine still slaps though. Really? I remember kids oh, cuisine dude. tasting weird. Oh, kids cuisine. They had some weird side choices. Like all of the main course stuff they had was good. Yeah. But then they had like weird stuff where it's like these like blue cookies, but I ate some of those blue <laughs> cookies and like my shit still is not like the dye in my system has not come out. It's still blue as shit. It's like when you drank that that blue milk at Disneyland. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> blue anything. That was so fucked up. I forgot. I forgot that we went to the. It, it's so weird. That feels so long ago. How long know. ago was that? It was like a year. Six months. This is not a year. There's no way it's been. A, it's been a year since. It's like six hey man, months. Time six months, moves, man. To me, everything is a year ago. There you go. Yeah, yesterday it was a year it ago. Was a year ago, man. Yeah. That was so funny. I don't know if we ever talked about that. I, that, that bird shit on my shoulder. Yeah, I, like I thought, I thought we did. Stores. But you know did what? Did we talk dude? about that? Oh, okay. Since we did that, I became just slightly Disney pilled. Really? Like, just like this, you want to go back to Disneyland? Well, because we went to Disney, uh, we went to Disney Sea in Tokyo, and I've had a good time. 
I mean, when we went, I had a good time. Yeah. It's just hell on earth. The biggest thing I said about that whole thing was that it's not about that you can't have fun at Disneyland, right? Yeah. Especially if you have the income to buy like a fast pass or whatever the fuck it was yeah. to get to actually have the experience of experience in the park. Yeah. But it's the people who are like, I'm going to go 15 times a year. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. Like I would probably I would probably if I went again in like a couple of years, I would probably have a good time again. Yeah. But I'm still at a point where I'm like, I have no desire to go back. Yeah, right I feel now. that. Yeah. You know what I mean, so that's like that's that's kind of, you know. Yeah, so maybe I'm not really Disney pilled, but I'm just sort of, you know, I could go back in the next year. That's kind of how I feel. <laughs> it's a classic photo. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's such a I good moment. I abducted all of those children, <laughs> yeah. by the way. It was easy. But I think I just want to go so I can wear my super cool thrifted Tinkerbell shirt. Did you? Oh, yeah, I forgot you did. You were, you were wearing that. Yeah. yeah what dude. a time. It was a good what time. a time on Space Mountain, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, when we got to, you know, Big Dick the Line, when the dude goes. Oh, yeah. The guy comes out, and he's like, Noel, you want to ride again? And you're like, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man, run it. You know, I, I ride this shit to practice my G-force on my turns yep. for F1, right? Yep. That's what you told me. No, I, I actually, uh, it was it was douchier than that. I actually said, yeah, I like to come here kind of to just train my neck for karting. It's not really as challenging, but it's like, it's almost as good. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a valid response. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. And it's a fun ride in the process, too. <laughs> Why not? And I was looking ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Each time, each turn, you were like breathing in, like, <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking like pilot. Yeah. Turning into uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Disneyland, you know, I probably had more, I had probably more fun at Disneyland than I did. I went to Universal Studios with um, Allison for the haunt in October and uh the L- the Florida version of Universal Studios is fun but the LA one sucks. Oh, man. the LA one is a joke. I can't even believe it still exists. I can't believe it has it's insane that it hasn't been updated. It just feels so old. Yeah. Like it feels extremely outdated. Yeah. No, I don't think it's changed since literally 97. That makes sense because it feels like the their newest attraction is Besides the Harry Potter shit, yeah, it feels like the newest shit that they did was like Jurassic Park or whatever. <laughs> For the first movie. <laughs> oh, dude. Also, the Mario Land thing was... Here's the thing. I appreciate all the set building. Like, it's fun looking at all this stuff, but yeah. the area is like so claustrophobic and small. Yeah. And like, it just sucks. Which it's a kid's area. I th- Well, they say it's a kid's area, but... I did not see a person under the age of like 25 in there. No. Because they're all like, Mario. No, yeah. Universal Studios, I don't know who, like what kid is like, (laughs) dad, take me to, (laughs) I I don't know who's asking for that. That ride sucked, dude. Yeah. That Mario Kart ride. Yeah. Unbelievable. You put on this annoying ass visor and it's supposed to be like an interactive game and stuff, but it just, it's, it's dookie. Not good. Which is crazy to me because it's it's Mario Kart. Just fucking make a kart track that's like painted interesting. What I don't understand is why can't you just legitimately have a go-kart track? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just like make it. That'd be sick if they made a section that looked like Rainbow Road and look at me getting carried away being four years old. <laughs> yeah, but if you had an actual kart, you got to drive around by yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I mean, everybody else on fucking Earth has go-kart tracks why can't universal do i mean the lines would be ridiculous right yeah. and i guess that's the whole thing too is these these things are like oh it's a two-minute experience that's on a loop where the ride never stops and yeah you get, like you maximize the amount of people that can be on it but yeah yeah brutal this brutal this makes all it- the sets and stuff look great like i said it's fun I, I i love the idea that someone built these things and they we, you know you got to make these areas but it just is not fun I'll say it. It is not fun. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't even see how this is fun for even a, like a seven-year-old. Like this, I don't know. It just feels like low effort. Hey, you know what I'll say? In uh, <laughs> So when we were kind of like, after we went to Disneyland, I had, uh, I kind of relapsed on binging Disney adult YouTube channels. And I I kind of got deep on the, decline in quality of like indiana jones and if i remember correctly a lot of people said that people complained 
about the harshness of the ride, and so they turned it down, uh, amongst other things. When I rode Indiana Jones at in Tokyo <laughs> Disney, it could have been in my head, but that thing felt that felt a little nostalgic. I felt like I was twelve years old again because that thing was thrashing. <laughs> it was like I think when we went to Disney, I don't think we ever. I don't think we rode Indiana Jones when we went to Disney. Nah, it wasn't worth it. It looks cool. Yeah. This looks sick. We had a little... Um, I love those YouTubers, dude. Yeah, the people that just analyze every little thing about Disney. Well, they go like, man, there's just, there's some channels where it's like, it's every, it's like every week they're going some places or they're going on like a Disney cruise and stuff. Yep. And it's the idea of like, um, it's fascinating people trying to be excited about everything for content. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't necessarily believe that they're that excited over everything. I really don't. But I do think like... It's just shit where like they go up to like a painting of Mickey in like an elevator and they're like, This is so cool. <laughs> this is like the fun touches, and it's like it's a it's a fucking Costco printed fake painting of Mickey. Like, what the fuck are you yeah. like harboring on about? But they they dig for everything. Guys, look at this door handle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like stuff like that. Disney adults are freaks, though, to be honest. Well, I mean, it's funny you bring that up. We were talking about this in the TMG episode, but there's a Swingers app for Disney goers. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, Swingers on Main. Swingers upon Main. Can you imagine a Swingers app like that? And it's just like, is is the app like this? Because I guess I don't know. Is the app like, do you fuck more like Goofy or do you fuck more like Mickey? No, it, it actually isn't like that. It's kind of boring. It's just kind of like your measurements your personal measurements yeah literally like how tall you are some of your personal attributes and then like that's it it should be like I wish, that I, I they need to be more adult like with that dude yeah like they need to be like i fuck like goofy but i love like donald yeah yeah i'm a go- you know what I mean? I'm a goofy fuck <laughs> yeah i'm a goofy fuck i'm a goofy fuck but i got a big heart on me dude <laughs> I get a little testy sometimes, but I got a big heart on me. <laughs> yeah, they should delineate types of people. You know, are you a Gaston? Are you are you a jacked like uh you know, are you a meathead? Are you a more um who's like a decrepit, weak Disney character? Who's who's uh Goofy's like enemy or like his his I remember the Goofy movie, it's like his son's his son's friend's dad. Pete? Is his name Pete? Oh, he's yeah, a big fat. Like the big, you know what I'm talking about? Big pig guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who? Who? He could be like, I'm like Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a Pete. You know, dick game insane. Yeah. I'm. I'm Dude, you'd be saying as if you had to get hard and you had to like draw the Disney ears with your, you know, they did on like yep. Disney XD back in the day. Yep. You had to do that with the app, and the people were like, depending on how good it was. Yep. Yeah, see, so look at him. Look at that big fat fuck. There's definitely some Pete's out there. I definitely say I'm more of a Gaston. You're more of a Gaston. Yeah, I think I think that looks like me. That's pretty like. I'm trying. I'm trying to think about who you would look like. That's not. I think that's it. At least pretty one to one. I'm trying to think. Probably more like Aladdin, dude. <laughs> I'm You're like his Aladdin monkey, either, dude. I'm like Aladdin's his monkey, charming, dude. Aladdin's charming and nice as shit. You're not that. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I'm, you're like a Donald Duck, dude. I'm a poo. I'm a boo. Yeah. Okay. You're not a poo either. A poo is charming and lovely, and he has a funny hat. Yeah. And he has a great head of hair on him. <laughs> you're, dude. You're Donald. Type in Donald Duck. You're like, I feel like you're a nice Donald Duck, dude. Let's look at Donald, man. Is Donald? Yeah, that's me and my big dopey eyes. Yeah, but the thing about Donald is he has his, he has like his angry moments. Yeah, yeah, and that's me. Yeah. <laughs> What's that Donald Duck boner meme? That shit is so funny. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. All I know is you, you you have some like weirdly eccentric outfits and shit too. So like these like his outfit is not uh his outfit isn't that far off. You never seen this meme? Looks like it looks like he has like a hard, hard old cock on him, doesn't it? Yeah. There's so many. Like the one where he's like charging up close to close his window. <laughs> or yeah, yeah. Look, that one. <laughs> it's like to the right. It's like Dragon Ball Z. Like he's just like. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a threat. Yeah, it's a threat. <laughs> 
that 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 is that is a definitely a threat at this point. It's coming at you. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think I'm. I, I could be a Donald. That could be me. Dude, I'm poo. You're poo Pooh bear. Poo bear. <laughs> Just t-shirt, belly out, borderline brain dead. Just hungry as shit. Yeah. Sleeping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dope ass red shirt. <sighs> Dude, you're not. You're no. We're, you're way too cynical to be poo bear. Nah, man. You know me. I walk around with crop tops all the time. Yeah, that's true. You you show it off. <laughs> yeah, I'm Eeyore. <laughs> Eeyore's I can like see Eeyore. Eeyore's charming though. You know who I'd like to be? Huh? I'd like to be Jafar. Yeah. Just constantly trying to get Princess Jasmine. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jafar get Jackson. pissed off, turn into a god, and then get trapped in a fucking get trapped in a fucking uh genie lamp forever yeah well yeah doesn't he be far doesn't he become like an evil genie isn't there like a yeah he becomes a big red genie yeah yeah i also like the uh and they made good villains back then jafar was a real piece of shit who was the guy that uh fucked with that elephant titus ridden monster quasimodo remember that guy oh yeah that's notre dame on fire yeah like, bird in here freak yeah he was he was a bad person dude even um who's that old villain from beauty and the beast the old man when they, when they came to there's an old man, I thought Gaston was the main enemy in Beauty and the Beast. There's him, but then there's like the old man that like helps try to burn down the beast. I don't know. Yeah, this guy, Monsieur Duc. Kind of looks like the Crypt Keeper. Yeah, he's what's his name? Monsieur Duc. Monsieur Dark. Monsieur Dark. Yeah, this guy was. Piece of work, wasn't he? LeFou. <laughs> Bucktooth motherfucker. Uh, that kind of looks like me. More than actually unironically. That's probably the <laughs> that's most. Answer, that's probably the, the that's probably the the hit the <laughs> nail right on the head with that one. LeFou. You sound so deflated. <laughs> well, you know. I'm talking about wanting to be Jafar and then I end up as fucking LeFou, dude. Come on. <laughs> that is sad. Dude, you call me Daffy Duck, man. You got to get down here with me, all right? Was- okay, first off, that's fucking... want to s- say something. That's Warner Brothers, dude. Yeah, I said yeah, Donald, Donald Duck. Sorry, call me Donald. Okay? Yeah. Hey, Donald Duck is one of the fucking OGs. Yeah, yeah. That's- There's a lot of respect on his name. Who the fuck knows LeFou? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> here we go, dude. Another classic case, case of our actual relationship, man. <laughs> Noel riding high. It is Ivory Tower, and then I end up being fucking LeFou. <laughs> Stretch and fade in a nutshell. <laughs> Damn it, dude. This has to be your next profile picture. <laughs> I'll be, I, I'll do that. I'll be LeFou. Yeah, LeFou. I'm down. The boy. Where? Yeah, where does Beauty and the Beast take place? Pretty sure it's France. Beauty and the Beast is kind of creepy when I think about it. Like the music, specifically. The music kind of freaked me out as a kid. Eastern region of Alsace. Beauty and the Beast takes place in France. Yeah, yeah. If you look into it, it's not hard to see that East, yeah. It takes place in France. Yeah, I mean, I would. The, the only thing I really remember about Beauty and the Beast was whenever he turns into a human, she'd like, her pussy definitely dries up real quick. Yeah. <laughs> You can tell she is not about that life at all. He looks ugly as fuck as a human. <laughs> you remember that? But as a beast, he was handsome. I think so. I thought he looked. I think, I think he's big and mis- mysterious, right? He's imposing. He's powerful. <laughs> yeah, that's and true. then whenever he, it was, and then whenever he, look, I mean, look at that. Imagine being like, <laughs> there he is, Prince Prince Charming. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 dude, he he, goes, he turns from beast to human, and <laughs> Bell's like, wait, he's inbred. Oh. Go back. Yeah, exactly. Go oh, back. So he's an incest baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Could you get the horns and fur back? Yeah, it looks like like that inbred family. That like famous inbred family. Classic French inbred family. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that, isn't that how it went back then? They could have been ugly as shit, but you're royalty. So. Well, yeah, that was definitely it because people were fucking each other's cousins and stuff in the palace. And then you're, you have all these like mutant fucking. Bug-eyed. 
and bread children <laughs> walking around the fucking <laughs> walking around the fucking palace. <laughs> Sorry, I'm also dying at this. There's no better candy than in Beauty and the Beast, aka the movie where one dude serves two very different looks. Dude, go die. One dude serves two very different looks. If BuzzFeed is gone, why is the website still up? Um, I don't think they have employees, but I think they probably make money off of the ads still. So someone What about the Try Guys, dude? How the fuck aren't the Try Guys from BuzzFeed? No, they branched off. Oh, so they're no longer associated with them. I don't think so, no. Not for some time. I need to know what's going on. What, what, what was the whole controversy with one of the Try Guys? Didn't one of the Try Guys, wasn't he just like fucking around yeah, on his wife or whatever? He, um, he was, he was uh, cheating on his wife with his assistant? My boy Ned Fulmer. Yeah. Hey, Icarus is what I call him. <laughs> Public romantic behavior with an employee. Icarus, that's what they call a white guy who gets too close to his Asian coworker. The uh didn't he have like a wife and a kid and everything? Yeah. Especially his whole persona online is like, look at me, I'm a quirky, yeah, like lovable husband yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Who eats in and out burgers. Trying every in and out burger. Yeah. Trying every in and out menu item. Yeah. Yeah, and he ain't uh, he ain't posted since. Out of there. Trying every Taco Bell menu item in one sitting. Try guys. Oh shit, dude! His pose is yeah, crazy. Insane, insane dick game. His pose is crazy. You don't even realize. <laughs> Probably, that guy's man. got the key. Yeah, you probably, you, dude. You're probably, you're probably sporting it. Dude. That guy's net worth is 150 million dollars. Why you trying <laughs> burritos and hamburgers? That's why he poses like that. He has, he has nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> dude, he's yoked. Look at him. He's yoked. I'd yeah. kill for that body. A little tricep on you. Oh, shut up, dude. You can have that tomorrow. Oh, damn. Okay. All right. Oh Lord, it's the Crocs for me. It's the Crocs for hey, me. Hey, is this Ned right here? Yeah. Hey, Ned, could you come in? We're trying every cookie from Walmart. <laughs> it's the Crocs for me, Ned. Okay, that's hilarious. Okay, Ned, but seriously, come in. We're trying every every movie theater candy. Come on. Oh. That's Slay, dude. Slay. Slay Queen. Can we can we add a new segment to the show? Yeah. What is it? I want to do uh, Hunter's Music Suggestion of the Week. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's get it. Which my music suggestion of the week <laughs> is uh, a band called Grove Street released one of the best albums last year. Grove Street. The album is called The Path to Righteousness. It is unbelievable. Super, super, super good. Unbelievable. So you know what? That is Hunter's recommendation of the week. If you're going to listen to any new music this week, make sure to put on some Grove Street. Okay. I'll check it out. Here you go. Yeah, I'll check it out. I've been um I've been kind of like not listening to music this past few months. That's unhealthy. Or past few weeks, not months, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. That's unhealthy. Yeah, I, I need more tunes. I I forced myself to bump some tunes, but yeah, I've been working out like a psychopath like to no real music. Just been in there. Oh, dude! Throw on this album. This is this is some great. This is like hardcore shit. It's always fun to work out too. Yeah, throw around some weights to this kind of shit. <gasps> I don't yeah. like cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, straight edge hardcore. Yeah, <laughs> I refuse to drink beer. Yeah, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I will not I'll be, be my fucking eyes. in social situations. I always like uh, I always like these deals because the lyrics always. The, the Grove Street isn't like this, but there's a lot of uh, hardcore bands that are like that that are really funny. Yeah. When I see you, I wipe my tear from my eyes, <laughs> and I'll tell you to go fuck yourself. It's like the most obnoxious, like slam poetry or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you offer me old duels, you can go fuck yourself. I'd much rather just have a smoothie. <laughs> Dude, what is this? 
Petty revenge, blaming fart on bully. Found out girlfriend thinks dick is small. Uh, there's some, these are some interesting uh, suggestions here. Well, let's go with fart on bully because, you know, I wore the bully jacket. <sighs> oh, deleted. Oh, my God. Whatever. You know what a subreddit I, I really can't stand is am I the asshole? Oh, yeah. That's, that's just like wanting to win an argument in the shower. Yeah, it's a, every time someone posts there, you better believe they're probably the asshole. Yeah, yeah. Especially if, it's, if you have to bring it to a forum. Yeah. To need justification for someone to be like, you know what? You're not the asshole. Yeah. It's their problem. Yeah. And it's like, thank God this random person I don't know online said this. Yeah, no, definitely. Versus having a civil discussion with whoever I'm having an argument with in my real life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I want to read the my found out my girlfriend thinks my dick is small. As the title says, last night I was searching something on my girlfriend's phone because my date did so much contact. Just tell the truth, dude. You were looking through your girlfriend's phone, <laughs> trying to make up all these reasons. My data wasn't working, dude. You were just in there. Saw an article open blow job tips for small penises. This didn't happen. This did not happen. <laughs> Sometimes you need to just not be insecure about it, dude. What? You know what I mean? What? Small dicks. Oh, it's yeah. It's not like you went to the store. It's not like you went to the store and you said, can I have a small one? Yeah. You're born with what you got, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just rock out. This man. come from a man with an extremely small penis. Me. Yeah. You know what I do? You know what I say? I wake up every morning. I tuck my tiny penis into my Hanes underwear, and I say, live in La Vida Loca. Yep. That's what I say. Yep. You know what? This is what my daddy gave me. No, it all act, that dude, it actually comes from your grandfather. This is what my grandfather, who I never met, gave me. Yeah. I'd love to shake that man's hand. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. You know what? It is what it is, man. Yeah. It is. Hey, them's... Thims is the thims is the reality of the situation. Yeah, that's right? the phrase. That's exactly it. That's exactly what uh that's the phrase that everybody knows and loves. <laughs> thims is the reality of the situation. Thims is the, the thems is exactly the cards you've been dealt with. Yeah. Yeah, all this like I'll never forget this. It's a positive story, but I'll never forget this. It's like a Reddit comment. It's some like I don't know. People were discussing small penises, and this dude goes, I knew a guy in the army, had the smallest dick ever and the most confidence. He had the hottest wife out of all of us. I'll never forget that. <laughs> he also had the most money. Yeah. No way, he bro. Had the, he had the oldest money we've ever seen. You ain't fucking making money in the army, dude. That guy must have been pure confidence. Yeah. I, I believe the You never know. What if what if he comes from old money, dude? Yeah, and he's just he's just LARPing. Just LARPing as Yeah, he's just like he's confident. He's he's overly confident. He has a great head. <sighs> he has a great head on his shoulders, you know. He's just like I want to serve my country. Ah. That's why he joins up. I don't really need money. That's why I joined the army. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? He's a good old boy. Yeah. <laughs> had a couple of those at one of my shows this weekend and uh another i had another guy hate my show so much he commented on my one of my posts that i'm the worst performer at the columbus uh funny bones since andy dick <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of a burn it was kind of funny that is uh very hurtful to say yeah that's weird i thought you said ohio is usually kind to you Oh no, it was. All all four shows were amazing. I I'm pretty sure I know this guy was. He I walked him. He like he left during the show. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think he hated it that much. Um, no, you know what? You can't win them all. What do you do? Yeah, that's fine. No, the the good old. If boys, anything, you made such an impression that he he had to search you up and comment that. That's what I'm saying. Which to me, that's a positive. Yeah, I think it, that's good. It's polarizing. The good old boys. I was I was walking out um after I did my set and <laughs> this big like. Because before the show, I saw them sitting in the back, and I, I just knew that these guys had no idea who I was. They probably just got an email that said, comedy show tonight, and they were like, sure. Right. And so I kind of talked to them a little bit at the top of the show, and as I was walking out, one of these, they were huge people. Uh, this dude just leans over the railing to me, and he sticks out his arm to like 
do like the put it there, brother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just grabs my arm like strong as shit <laughs> as I'm walking out like, hell yeah. I'm like, oh, thanks, pal. <laughs> yeah, dude, he gave you the Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, yeah, Predator 1. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, son yeah, of a yeah, bitch, yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was exactly it, man. He was intentional about it, too. It made me feel really good. I really appreciated it. You know, as we close out this episode, Noel, I want people to know that I'm going to SHOT Show next week in Las Vegas. Ooh. It's the biggest gun convention in the world, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I went there last year. It was hilarious. I'm going this year for, to film some stuff. <sighs> You're going to buy and, uh, uh, yeah, buy one of those um, gender reveal guns? <laughs> <laughs> you know those ones they sell? <laughs> Yeah, get one of those there. That, they, those are the the hot ticket item when I go there. Yeah. Um, so I'll be in Las Vegas. If anybody sees me, please don't talk to me. This episode <laughs> will definitely come out when uh, before that comes out. So if you do see me, please ignore me. Don't even you know I'm an enigma. I am not even there. I'm a ghost. But I will say I uh, am going to. I, I booked reservations. Or I had Harry book all the reservations to uh, all the Gordon Ramsay restaurants. Oh, yes, yeah, that'll be great. So we're going to be doing a video on that, too. You should with bring- my buddy Jerma, who we hung out with yeah, together. Yeah, shout out Jerma. He's a good man. Yeah. Dude, you should bring the frozen TV dinners into the restaurant with a portable microwave and then compare meal to, like, one-to-one the Walmart yeah, Gordon. I Ramsay. would honestly prefer the $6 microwave dinner. Yeah. To this. <laughs> Just completely shitting on it. <laughs> so there is, there's eight restaurants, Gordon Ramsay restaurants in Las Vegas. And you're going you're gonna to take, take to all of them. I'm going to go to all of them. Not all. It's going to be split across two days. Yeah. But still. We do have a reservation at Hell's Kitchen. Yes, I know. Everybody's excited. (laughs) Hell's Kitchen. (laughs) People clapping in their cars right now. Yes. 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 Uh, So, yeah. I'm doing that. I just want people to know that I'm, uh, you know, once again, if you see me in Vegas, please do not talk to me. Don't even look at me. Um, Thank you. That's all I have to say. That's I just wanted to put that out there. And I'll be in Omaha by, uh, soon after this comes out. So if you're in Omaha, you can come to the show, but also don't um, don't acknowledge me. Just sit in the crowd and do nothing and then leave. <laughs> Pay for the ticket, buy a shirt, and then go home. <laughs> please. Please and thank you is what I say to that. I'll, dude... Whenever I have five shows in a weekend by the fifth one, there's a part of me that just wants to walk up there and be like, dude, trust me, it's good. And then I just go home. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty solid. Trust me, it's like it's a good set. And then I just bounce. Yeah, it's like it, it, it's, a, it's like a good 45 to hour long set, guys. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's a good one. It's definitely not bad. Um, no, I, I, I won't kick them out. I'm like, you guys can hang for the next hour. Yeah, I mean, you bought you bought tickets for the space, so just chill for an hour. You know, if you, there's a bar there, you know, there's an open bar. Yeah, whatever. Would you at least go around and hang out with them, or did you just leave? Uh, I think I'd chill. I think I'd chill. Yeah, I think you should just leave. <laughs> yeah. They bought they they pay tickets to pay for a bar for you to go on stage and be like, it was solid, and then you just leave. Yeah, your big ass tour bus driving away. <laughs> <laughs> That's so shitty. I know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, come, yeah, come see me in Omaha if you want. <laughs> if you go want. see him in Kansas City too. Definitely goes. I'll probably yeah, be there. Yeah, KC is gonna be fun. I'm super stoked for KC. Um, I mean, he he actually asked me to uh, to uh, be the host of it. Yeah, declined. Hunter's gonna get up there. He's gonna go full stand up comic. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sit there and be like. Kansas City, you know them and you love them. Yeah. Actually, I'll do a couple of jokes beforehand too. Yeah. What the hell is up with with our? What is going on with the railway system here in Kansas City, right, guys? <laughs> what the hell? I'll do a couple of jokes and I'll introduce people. It'll be lovely. Yeah, you got to do but some. I you got to do some local material. You know, super local. Yeah, only literally only will only work for this city. What uh? What's the what's the custard place? That we, Andy's, Andy's, yeah. It's like they open up that new Andy's up over there, you know, and then you just yeah, exactly. It looks like a couple of people from Raytown showed up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm eating this morning, noon, and night. <laughs> I will not be joining you. I'm not. You know, the thing too is, I you were like, you know, you were no, like that merch is sick. Shut well, up. Well, we'll see. That merch is. Sick. You were like, yo, well, uh, 
you know, if I can get some free time for my schedule, maybe we can hang out. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to hold my breath, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's going to be one of these things where you're like, let me, uh, let me swim by Andy's first. And it's going to be a whole thing. Again. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Cause, dude, I'm moonlighting as a as an ASMR TikToker. That's what I didn't tell you. So when I buy these, I just sit in my car and I just go, "Thank you, thank you." You like you like tap your yeah. finger on the side of the cup. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the roses. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> big grizzly two two four. Thank you for the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you know, I yeah. used to get on TikTok live and be like, "I need you guys to donate galaxies so I can solve cancer." <laughs> <laughs> and then people would do it and then I'd have to stop like going on live because I'm I, I started feeling bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would too. People just throwing money at nothing. Yeah. And you're just I, like, thanks for the money, bitches. I've, no, I've never even withdrawn it. It's still in my account. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 Anyways, guys, um, we're back. I'll be feeling better next week, I swear. Um, but thanks for listening. Uh, d- and when you see Hunter in Vegas, don't say shit to him. Seriously, don't even look Please him in the fucking eyes. Please don't. Um, and yeah, come see me in Omaha. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. Bye.